Welcome back, guys. You know what time it is? You know what time it is! It's time for Studio B21. Back at you again. But the, the football wasn't going when uh, we started this out in uh, March, was it? Super uh, Bowl had just passed? We just finished the Super Bowl, yeah. But a new season of NFL is upon us. A new 18-week stretch for you to turn that one dollar nuclear 18 <laughs> leg parlay into the, the five, dollar and the dream the dollar and the dream five hundred thousand dollar parlay of your dreams when all you need is fucking damar hamlin to throw 82 yards. What is that play called? Uh, so Wiley, who is the guy we were trying to get the ball to, is a big Pokemon collector. Uh -huh. um, and so it was a Pikachu formation, and it was called Gotta Catch Em All. Nice. Yeah. It's possible. It's possible. You know, run a few trick plays. But anyways, back at it again. Guys, we're so fucking excited that football is back. You mean the thing that I wish my boyfriend does? Yes, Dean, you, Miss, Mr. Kelke, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Kelke, Mr. Swift, Mr. Swift, Tra Ooh. Travis Swift. I mean, speaking of which, I remember like people actually were betting that he would propose to her if they won the Super Bowl last year. And, and they you did know win. what? They did win, but those bets did not cash. But you know what? They, it's been almost a year that they've been going out. So. Who knows? Maybe it's in the future. Put down the more. Put your mortgage on the bet. Bet the house. Bet the house. Bet your neighbor's house. That way, it's not even your house that mm. loses. Fuck. Anyways, guys, here we go. We are back. And on my Instagram at Wine Cook Ryan, which mm -hmm. you can follow here. Mm -hmm. After you liked and subscribed, of course. Yes, yes. Like and subscribe. Maybe even comment. Reactions are sexy. Okay, guys. Here we go. Uh, we're going to do a quick recap of week one of the NFL. See how everyone's feeling. Um, this comes to us from a channel that I follow on my Instagram called Ball Nation 60. It's one of those little one minute or less sports recaps with the AI generated voice, which eh, it's okay, mm. but goddamn, is it funny? So here we go, Nino. Holy shit, that was beautiful. This is what happened in every game. The bullshit bowl every week in Kansas City is back. If the Kansas City cocksuckers three feet this year, I'm gonna rashy rice my way on over to therapy. Nice. Seeing my sweet, sweet pookie bear Jordan Love get hurt on the Packers last fan, by the way. Ooh. Devastate. The NFL gotta stop fucking that, around. And that's the only reason I didn't bet on them this week. Carolina should seriously consider a corn hub sponsorship on their jersey. The Panthers are on Megan Lestallion levels of ass. How the <laughs> fuck did Sam Darnold start and win a football game while outplaying the other team's quarterback? Oh, that's right. He was going up against the white Bin Laden. Pause the video. <laughs> white Bin Laden. Stat. Okay, Patriots are ass, and Joe Burrow is healthy again. Nothing to see. What the fuck? Yeah, oh, fuck how them. I missed making fun of the pit shit Steelers. This offense is more stoppable. Falcons than fans, so I'm fucked anyways. However, Chris Bigcock Boswell's third leg, I meant right leg, is fucking perfect, and will lead the Steelers to the playoffs. Everyone should prepare for Anthony Richardson glaze for the rest of the year. Houston won, cool, as expected. But Anthony Richardson is the chosen one. Cross me, daddy. Tyler Murray versus Cross Martin Harrison my daughter. will be a fun rivalry this year. Caleb Williams is to the Bears what Taylor Swift is to the Chiefs. Just a cheerleader along for the ride with painted nails and too much screen time. Slay <laughs> Queen. Tyreek Hill got arrested and played football an hour later. Etienne is ass, but oh wait, what the fuck is this music? Game tied with three seconds left. Holy shit, we are fucking back, baby. Walk it off, white boy. <laughs> It's good. How frustrating it is to be 
a Seahawks fan. This team is just Pittsburgh with a shittier defense and a quarterback that throws to the middle of the field. Raiders nice. went from beating them by 60 to whatever the fuck this was. Also, nobody's convincing me that the Clippers of the <clears throat> NFL have enough fans to sell out so far. Also, also, Joe Alt just manhandled Max Crosby all game, and it was probably racially motivated. <laughs> Deshaun Watson might need another massage to get some of that rust off. Screw you, Dallas. Blah, 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 they won, but I don't want to talk about it. LMAO, Johnny Manziel, I meant Baker Mayfield is genuinely a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. I agree. <laughs> we are witnessing a classic NFC rivalry unfold before our very eyes. Yafuki is simply filled with joy and happiness every single time these teams go head to head. This shit went all the way to overtime and look what the fuck we have here. Jared Goff walking off right for Oh shit, it's a run. <laughs> <laughs> This game proved that rushing yards is an offensive line stat and that Jake fucking Moody is a dog. Oh fuck, look at this Caucasian cook. Bang, 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 bang. Like Deshaun Watson at his massage appointment. <laughs> God damn it, I can't wait for week two. Fucking follow Poly Market Sports for these recaps every single week, Pookie. Week one of the... That was fun. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was good. Like, but you know what? Short, concise, to the point. I like it. It grabs your attention, and it fucking manhandles you into submission like Deshaun Watson at, at a happy ending. Yeah. 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 Once again, so fucking excited that the NFL is back. Like, super happy, except for the fact that as we are recording this right now, both me and Nino are out of a fucking... the survivor pool. God damn it. <laughs> That's only, only 50 bucks off the drain. I will, I will give you this. You managed to last until week two. I picked the fucking Bengals against, against the Patriots week one. What the fuck was that shit? Buddy, it's like, thank you CBS Sports for the oh, pick Dallas girl lock this week. Pick, um, As Dallas gets dicked down in Dallas by New Orleans, it's like yeah, yeah. I guess thank, New Orleans thank told you, Jerry them. Jones. New Orleans told them exactly what was in their title. No, <laughs> nope. Dak, Dak, Dak to shit. Dak to shit. But he's <laughs> apparently he's sixty million a year. Shit. Yeah, he's God. well worth the shit. Damn the shit. Well, yeah. we might as well get it up right now. Put up the Cowboys have been eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> you fell for it, didn't you? You fell for it, didn't you? You actually thought y'all were going to win some playoff games. You actually thought that there was going to be the first time that you were going to be in the NFC Championship game in about 30 damn years. That's what they thought Shay Shay did. This. That's what they thought. They, they thought fell that. for no, they it. They, they, they fell for it. They heard us talking about how they the number two seed. They had home. They had all of this going for the club, Shay Shay. But we warned them. We spent the entire season warning them. And then I shipped the gears and I got their hopes up all the way up there. Always next year. Always next year. One more year. Yeah. One more year. Uh, coming, coming from a Packers and a Falcons fan. Uh, I'm a Chief said, you know. God damn. Jordan Love MVP. Calling it now. Uh. Isn't his knee... Jordan Love, MVP, uh, calling it right now. I can't say anything about the Falcons. 28-3 to three still haunts us. <laughs> still, a fucking decade later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. But yeah, anyways, guys, this was fun. Comment down below if you would like to see a little more shorter reactions like that, because I actually quite enjoyed that. It was fast, concise, funny, and that's what I like. Like my sex life. Yeah. Especially fast. Anyways, Ooh. be good to you. Be good to him. Uh, yeah. Love you. Thank you. Join us again. Have a great one, guys. Bye.